What about <laughs> So anyway, uh, the first thing that I was going to do is I wanted to play this, uh, this level by Evil Ways. And Evil Ways is a really cool level maker. He's made tons of really great levels. And I heard a lot of good things about this level, so I wanted to try it out. Yo, hi Elsa. <laughs> it's good to see you, Elsa. How have things been? A Renegade. Thanks, uh, Zach. Uh, Zach. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, that's not the way to go. <laughs> that's not the way to go. I bet I do a uh, jump off of that shell. Can I get it? Or can I wear it as a helmet? No, it looks like I jump off of it. <laughs> Alright. Is Yoshi confirmed dead? Hey, there's a Yoshi in this game, man. Oh! We're dead! Alright, gotta pull back a little bit. Do I have to catch that bomb coming up? Do I have to catch these spikes? Are classes over for you? Yeah, uh, but since I'm a grad student, I don't really... Like, classes aren't really the shit. Well, I think I needed... I think I used both of those. Uh, I don't really take that many classes anyway. I mostly just do research in the lab. And that doesn't end even even when school gets out. But I don't have to teach anymore, so I got a little bit of more time because of that. But really, I, this summer is actually... Oh, shit. Okay, I think I'm trying to talk and Kaizo at the same time. I think I need to... Um, hit both of those platforms, but I'm not sure what order to hit them in, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. Well, I can't, okay, I can't make it to the top one, so this has to be right. And I jump to this one, and then I get over that. All right. <laughs> Yakuza, hi! Oh, man. But yeah, anyway, uh, I finished teaching, which is nice. Jump! Oh, my God, it's... Oh, oh, my God, I'm still alive! Oh, I gotta do that. All right. All right. <laughs> That was a cool section, because it all kind of like lined itself up. I just jumped at the coins and then everything worked. That was good. I love this because this level Super Mario Bros. 1, and it's like got all these awesome tricks in it, which... Oh, okay, I jumped too late that time. It's cool to see what you can still do in Super Mario Bros. 1. Like, you can't pick up items in this, but still you can do all this cool stuff. Okay, uh, too early? Okay, that time I jumped too early. <laughs> Notice me, Senpai. Hi, Josh. Unfortunately, I can't stream more. I just don't have time. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on my level for Summer Games Done Quick, which I'm really excited for. I don't even know if I can go to Summer Games Done Quick, but I'm going to try my best to be able to go to it. Okay, what do I do? I think I bounce on this. Oh, it didn't jump! <laughs> okay, I think I'm starting to get the idea. Whoa, I'm alive! I'm dead. <laughs> Are you an ultra star? I jumped way too early. <laughs> I jumped way too early. Seriously though, Hippie, I'd like to go back to Yoshi someday, but it's really hard for my, uh... Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> yes! Oh, we got a checkpoint! How nice! How nice! <laughs> it's really hard for my schedule, though. This is so nice because I can just hop on for a little bit. Yo, Tina, thank you so much! Anyway, let's see if we can figure this out. Uh, so they both... <laughs> Wait, don't restart. <laughs> Alright, so the shell, I hit, I land in the middle, one shell goes along the bottom, I think, but it looked like there's lava, so I don't know how that's happening. And then I shell jump off the one on the right, I think. Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, does it bounce? It bounces! What do I do? What do I do? What, do I, what am I doing? What am I <laughs> Okay, uh, I've never done that in Super Mario Bros. 1, and I've never done that with a big shell, so I think it actually is... Oh, I waited too long. I think it's actually easier with the big shell, because that was working really well. It's kind of nice not doing, uh, just the races, because I can actually, like, talk without worrying about sucking. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> well, let's be honest, I'm just gonna suck anyway, so... Uh, Pistachio Nut. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the, uh, I have a series of levels called Kaizo College levels that are kind of, like, nice, easy, introductory Kaizo levels. Easy of co Oh my god, we did it, dude! <laughs> uh, we did it! Um... Alright, don't miss the jump. Don't miss this jump. Don't miss this jump. What the fuck? I missed the jump! God! That looked good though. That looked good. I'm actually amazed that that didn't work. That looked like it was not dead on middle, but you don't need to be in the middle of the pipe to get in there. Alright. Oh, I love this trick right there. Oh! <laughs> Uh... 
<laughs> you do all the hard stuff, and then it's just like denial. This is amazing. I love that. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're in the pipe. Oh god. Go. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Not this. None of that. Crap. I thought I was gonna get a checkpoint. <laughs> what is your favorite chemistry experiment? Hmm. Um. Oh man, I'm trying to remember this. I was actually, there's like a, I actually love historical science stuff. There's some really fucking cool historical science stuff. So like, for example, some of the ways that people fucking measured the effect of gravity um, a long time ago is like, they literally would just set up these like crazy contraptions where they had these like giant bags of sand and then like something that was really light that could literally be moved, like, just a tiny little bit by the gravity of the, like, heavy shit that they were dealing with. So, like, they just set up these, like, crazy elaborate experiments to measure fucking, you know, everything attracts everything else with gravity, but, you know, unless you're at a planet, it's a really tiny amount. But they fucking measured this stuff, like, 200 years ago, and, you know, it was, they weren't perfect. Like, you know, you look at the results that they got, and it wasn't, like, dead on or anything, but it was, like, reasonably close. I, I love historical science experiments. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Alright, we gotta figure this room out. Okay, I, I've gotta jump because the arrow point. Oh, it's a juggle. It's a juggle section. I didn't juggle it. Okay, what's over here? Okay, okay, I get it. Dude, old chemistry experiments were crazy. People would just, like, mix everything with everything else and see what happens. Okay. Ooh, didn't. Oh, man. Okay, you gotta get a pretty good setup for that. Dead. Hey Carl, I am a pharmacist and being a researcher is my dream job. Good luck to you from a fellow colleague. That's awesome, Akira. I hope you get to get a research position at some point. Yeah, I love doing research. It's really cool. It's definitely heartbreaking at times and you know, it's like stuff doesn't always work, but you know what? I think that's I think that's cool. I'm down with that because when stuff does work, it's really awesome. I'm dead. Dish soap plus hydrogen peroxide. Uh, but Doge, you need a catalyst too. So if you do dish dish soap, concentrated hydrogen peroxide, and something like uh, potassium iodide, it's so cool. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen this before, YouTube elephant toothpaste. It's a really fun uh, science experiment that you can do. Okay. Juggle. Oh, what the? Oh man, I was just a little bit off. I, I didn't land on the Goomba. Vexer, um, I'm currently working towards a PhD in, it's technically microbiology, but what I do is mostly molecular biology. Yeah, university stuff can be pretty bad sometimes, unfortunately, but I do have to say, in my opinion, it's a lot of times worth sticking with it if you enjoy the subject, or enjoy what you're doing, or, or like not necessarily what you're doing in university, but like the, uh, the concepts and stuff because getting an actual job with the stuff you use is usually nothing like being in school, and that's a good thing a lot of the time. But yeah, it all depends. You know, there's good teachers and bad teachers and all that. Hi, Dragon Feeny. Thank you so much for the sub. Three months? Holy crap. Well, I'm alive. I thought I was dead. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this! I jumped too soon, I think. Wait, no. Nope, yeah. I, I see. If, if I jump too soon, like, I just can't. The, the fucking shell doesn't go far enough. What is the timing for this? Oh, I just, I have to, I think I have to pull back more. Oh my god, I think we got it. Go. Fuck, 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 no! <laughs> fuck. Oh my gosh. You know, the, definitely one of the downsides of doing research, you know, is you're just, at least doing uh, lab research is, you know, you're just sitting in a lab all day. But a lot of science research is field work too. And a lot of people really dig that and I totally get why. Fortunately, I'm used to just sitting inside all day, so hey. <laughs> I didn't deserve that one, but I'll take it. Alright. Oh, there we go. That's what I need to do. There we go. Yes! Alright, we in there. What is the most interesting thing you learned about at school? I would say most of the most interesting things I've learned haven't really been at school. Um, but that's really hard to pick. <laughs> that is really hard to pick. What the fuck? Okay, I'm doing a, like a shell jump like that, but I did it horribly wrong! 
It's really hard to pick the most interesting thing that I've learned. Like, one of the most interesting things I've learned ever was space stuff, which I think is just, like, mind-blowing and crazy. Space is just... Look at that! Mario just, like, freeze frames with his little foot up. <laughs> space stuff is super cool. I didn't really learn about that. That's cool. Okay, let's wait for the... Okay, go! Oh, I held jump and hit my head. I bumped my head! Ah! I mean, I've always been really intrigued by biology stuff. I don't know, it's crazy. It just seems like all of the... As big as you get with all the huge space stuff, it's just, like, just mind-blowingly big. Like, just how freaking big it is is just ridiculous to me. But then you do the exact same thing with, like, microbiology. It seems like no matter how small you go, there's just, like, this crazy amount of stuff going on all the time, even at the smallest levels or the largest levels. So I think just that, that contrast is really cool. Okay, I've totally fucked this up. It's so hard to... <laughs> it's hard to think about these questions you guys ask me while I'm doing this. Shit. Oh, I... Okay, I have to hold jump on that last one. It's, guys, sorry guys, chat is... I, <laughs> if I read chat, I, I can't play the game. Alright. It's fun talking to you guys, though. Okay. Oh, what do I... Hold on, wait, I think I'm... I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, that was not right! I needed the whole jump off the green one. Okay, okay, I needed the whole jump off the green one. Why is this not lining up? Something... But I, like, can't. That's, like, not enough time. Oh! I get it. Alright, I see, I see. It's the same thing as before. I see what I'm doing wrong. I got it. I figured it out. I got it. Double jump there. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh! <laughs> All right. Oh my god. This is holy god. This is this is scary. Holy shit. Okay. This is it. This is this is this is a fucking Bowser fight in a Kaizo level. This is what I've always wanted. This is everything. All right. Those fireballs are crazy. They can juke you. Like they can go one way and then they can cut down. I'm I'm ready for it, Bowser. I'm ready. I'm ready. See that was like. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. No. No. I was so close. Fuck! <laughs> what is the best game you have ever played? Hmm. Yoshi's Island was one of my favorite games as a kid. The original Mario games were definitely some of my favorite games growing up, for sure. I also like a lot of RPGs, though. Uh, Chrono Trigger is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I really love Chrono Trigger. Okay. Yes! No! That denial! Um, yeah, I really love Chrono Trigger. Uh, I've also always really enjoyed a lot of the... Let's see, like Fallout 1 and 2 I really liked. Everything is wrong about this, and it worked! <laughs> That's probably because what I was doing before was wrong. Alright, don't juke me, Mr. Bows, man. I guess I should stay as far back as possible. I, the closer you get to him, though, the faster you kill him. This music is amazing. Whoa, two in a row. What was that one? What was that one? That one was like in the middle. He's fucking, he's throwing curveballs. Look at this, he's throwing curveballs, man. He's throwing curveballs. Okay. <laughs> All right, get out of here, Mr. Baz, man. I've only played a little Kingdom Hearts. I never owned the game. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Thank you all for the great Super Mario Maker Kaizo community. <laughs> That's so nice. You too, Evil Ways. Thank you for making it so good. Woo! We did it! Yeah! Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI were jointly responsible for a lot of missed school when I was young. Yeah, I know, right, Tina? Final Fantasy VI was amazing. I, Final Fantasy VI is probably my favorite in Final Fantasy as well. Though I actually played Final Fantasy VII first, so I really like that one too. All oh, the feels, I know, Curl. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. Really great level by Evil Ways. I really enjoyed that one. Now that is an, an 8-4. It's called <laughs> it's called Evil's 8-4. 
That was indeed an 8-4. Very nice. Thanks, Evil Ways. I hope Evil Ways keeps making more levels. He makes some of my favorite levels. So I like that one so much. I also went back and played Evil Ways' other level, Evil's 8-4 Speedrun Edition. And this is basically the same level, but with no checkpoints. So you gotta do the whole thing in one run. Check it out. <laughs> 